In this video, we're going to learn how to install a new Windows VST plugin onto our receptor. We start by downloading a .exe installer off of the website of the developer. In this case, the file is called ComboV. Note that only .exe installers will work. You cannot use an MSI installer on Receptor. Now that we've got our plugin, we simply open up Receptor's hard drive and drag the file into the Drop Installers Here folder on our Receptor. Now that the installer is copied over, we can go and open up the Receptor Viewer and then select the Setup tab and open up the Software Manager. Now with the Plugins tab selected, we can click on Install Plugin and that will show us our Drop Installers Here folder that has the installer file copied over to it. Now all we have to do is select it and then click on the Install button. That will open up the Plugins installer and we just follow the instructions, agreeing to the terms and conditions, and then selecting which version of the plugin we want to install. In this case, it's the SSE version. Now the installer is asking us where we want the files to be installed. The defaults are usually program files or Steinberg VST plugins, and that ends up with plugins installed all over your drive. So instead of doing that, I'm going to click on Browse and select My Computer, and then open up Drive C and point it to the VST Plugins folder. This will keep all your plugins in one place. I click OK, and then I'm going to give a new folder a name of the developer. In this case, it's Martinic. Now that I've designated where I want my plugin to be installed, all I have to do is go over and click on Install and then let the installer finish. Now Receptor will take over by finishing the installation on its side. I get a little status indicator and then once that's done running, I'll see that I'm ready to go ahead and validate the plugin. So the installer is done and I'm asked if I want to go ahead and search for the new plugin, which I do. And now I see a list of new plugins that are detected by the system. Now Massive will throw up a little error here, and I don't, really don't care about that, so I can just dismiss that. Click OK. And now I see that Combo V has been added to my plugin list. So click Done, and click Done and dismiss the window. Well, we're almost done. Now we see that our plugin has been added to our synth plugins list. It's right there. And the final things we want to do is just go ahead and load it and make sure that the GUI is running in the plugin. So we'll click on that to open it. We see that it is looking good. So what I'll do is I'll update the plugin thumbnail so I see that in the plugin list. Click OK and then we're ready to go. Congratulations.